so in this lecture we are going to study power series method with singularity and we will discover a way that how you can deal with singular points so one way is to write solution so let us say you have singularity at x0 and just go away from x0 and write solution at this point and then apply limit x goes to x0 but when that x approaches to singularity the convergence of power series become very worse so in many cases you don't expect any convergence so now i am providing the motivation to proceed further so that we can improve or we can modify the power series method which can be applicable for singular points and this is based on cauchy euler equation so which is a second order differential equation of course it is linear and and solution of this equation is of the form y equal to x power r so we just substitute y equal to x power r in given equation so and then simplify y dash will be r x power r minus 1 plus c x power r equal to 0 so now club all terms containing r square then b minus a times r plus c x power r equal to 0 so this gives a r square plus b minus a r plus c equal to 0 and this equation is called characteristic equation or sometime we write it as indicial indicial equation so this equation will give us two roots say r1 and r2 and there are three possibility so we may have distinct real root distinct real roots and solution is so solution is just y equal to c1 x power r1 plus c2 x power r2 and you may have equal roots okay repeated roots so in that case solution is so you you got only one solution which is x power r1 and second solution you can obtain which is x r1 log of x by using reduction of order you can obtain second linearly independent solution and third case you may have complex roots so they always occur in pair so one is alpha plus iota beta and second is alpha minus iota beta so in the in that case solution is c1 x alpha cos of beta log x plus c2 x power alpha sin of beta log of x and now i can combine case 1 and 3 okay so in both cases you have different root but they are real or complex so solution is x power r and i can write x power r equal to alpha plus iota beta or alpha minus iota beta and then separate it real and imaginary part so i can write e power 
सो फर्स्टली फर्स्ट हम राइटिंग एक्स पावर एल्फा एक्स पावर आयोटा बीटा ओके जमी ई पावर लॉग एक्स इज जस्ट एक्स सो आई कैन राइट दिस एज सो एक्स पावर एल्फा ई पावर आयोटा बीटा लॉग ऑफ एक्स नाउ यूज एक्सपेंशन ई पावर आयोटा थीटा विच इज कॉस ऑफ थीटा प्लस आयोटा साइन ऑफ थीटा एंड ऑफ कोर्स अवर सोल्यूशन हैज दिस फॉर्म एक्स पावर एल्फा कॉस बीटा लॉग एक्स सिमिलरली यू कैन राइट फॉर अनदर रूट विच इज नेगेटिव वन सो लेट से दिस इज आर वन से दिस इज आर टू सो यू गॉट एक्स एल्फा माइनस आयोटा बीटा सो दैट इज एक्स एल्फा कॉस ऑफ बीटा लॉग एक्स माइनस आयोटा साइन बीटा लॉग एक्स एंड टू गेट रियल सोल्यूशन सो बाई एडिंग और सब्सट्रैक्टिंग यू गॉट रियल रियल सोल्यूशन सो यू कैन कंबाइन केस वन एंड थ्री एंड फ्रॉम केस टू वी मेक एन इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑब्जर्वेशन दैट फर्स्ट सोल्यूशन इज एक्स पावर आर एंड सेकेंड सोल्यूशन इज एक्स पावर आर लॉन्ग एक्स एंड माई क्लेम इज दैट आई कैन I can obtain second solution from first. Okay, so I'm writing x power r log x. Okay. So in 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 the same manner, I can write x power r as I as I wrote x iota beta. So that will be e log x power r and log x. Okay. So I can write e. R log x, then multiply by log x. Okay, so I can write this as a derivative. E power r log x. So what will be derivative of e power r log x with respect to r? So then that will be r log x. Okay, so e power e power r log x same, and derivative of r log x will be log x. So same expression. So if I differentiate with respect to r, you got e power r log x multiplied by log x. And again, write e power. I can write e power log x power r. So this is d by d r x power r. So important observation is that. Second solution can be obtained from first by differentiating with respect to R. So, in conclusion, so first real and third imaginary they are similar, and in second case you can get one solution which is x power R, and second solution can be obtained by differentiating first with respect to R, and R is the root of the Initial equation. Okay, so now I am describing the method which will be used. So method is known as the method of Fraub Fraubnius. So in In the case of ordinary point, you got solution in term of x power r, where r is for the x power n, n is a positive integer, so you have a power series expansion. But when you have x power r, r can be half, r can be minus three by two. So from usual power series, we cannot obtain these numbers one by two, three by two, etc. So so from this method method of probnius is a modification of power series so in that method we take usual power series that is 0 to infinity x minus x 0 power n and to include other possibilities we multiply with r x minus x 0 power r and so in general we take an x minus x 0 
n plus r and we substitute this in given equation and simplify as we did previously but here we also try to find to find r we fit constant term is equal to 0 and that that equation is indeed initial equation so I am taking one example then we will state the general result so one example is that that solve the differential equation so solve about about the point 0 and equation is x square by double prime plus x x minus half y prime plus 1 by 2 y equal to 0 ok so you can write its standard form so standard form is 1 by x x minus half would divide with x square plus 1 by 2 x square so in our usual notation this is p p x y prime and this is q x y and you can check that so x p x limit x goes to 0 at singularity so x is equal to 0 is the only singularity here so you need, you need to check x p x which will be minus half and x square q x limit x goes to 0 which is half so both are finite so singularity is so singularity x 0 equal to 0 is regular so we have a regular singular point so now since you are writing power series solution about a singular point so we take general Frobenius power series so we, we, we assume general power series a n x power n plus r at x as x 0 is 0 ok so substitute compute second derivative fit in equation so equation is So equation is x square y double prime so double prime is 0 to infinity a n n plus r n plus r minus 1 x power n plus r minus 2 ok then x minus half upon x so you have derivative first derivative n plus r a n x power n plus r minus 1 and plus 1 by 2x square a n x power n plus r equal to 0 so now I, I simplify this series so first term is 0 to infinity n plus r n plus r minus 1 a n x n plus r minus 2 then second sum x by x will cancel out so this is usual series n plus r x n plus r minus 1 then minus half x ok so minus half x a n plus r x plus n plus r minus 2 so 1 x will be subtracted and then 2 by x square 1 by 2 summation n 0 to infinity a n x plus n plus r minus 2 
okay so now we shift the index so here we have x plus n plus r minus 2 so I am writing first term as it is second term I am writing n equal to 1 to infinity n plus r minus 1 replace n with n minus 1 x plus n plus r minus 2 third and fourth same okay so now all term has x plus n plus r minus 2 but label of first term is 0 and you need to change the labeling now so now I am collecting the term for n equal to 0 so r r minus 1 from first from second sorry from third minus r by 2 and from fourth 1 by 2 by fitting n equal to 0 and a 0 x r minus 2 will be common and now all the term can be combined and label will start from 1 to infinity so n plus r n plus r minus 1 minus half n plus r plus 1 by 2 and multiply by a n and plus and from second term and this is all together so multiply by x plus n plus r minus 2 so now now the initial equation is initial equation is so now we fit constant term equal to 0 to find r minus r by 2 plus half equal to 0 so this will give you two value one is one is one and another one is half so we have two different r okay so let us let us say 2r one one is r1 which is one and one is r2 which is half and their difference r1 minus r2 is half and not an integer that i will make general observation after that so just you got two different r okay so to find one solution to find one solution so we take r equal to 1 and the remaining the recurrence relation is that will give you uh, another value so fit r equal to 1 in that relation so n plus 1 n plus r n plus r minus 1 and minus half n plus r okay plus half a n plus n plus r minus 1 r is 1 here so a n minus 1 this is equal to 0 so just simplify it and you got a n equal to minus 2 by 2 n plus 1 and a n minus 1 ok so you can repeatedly apply this result so minus 1 1 will come each time so 2 will also come each time and here you got 2 n plus 1 2 n minus 1 up to 3 and a 0 and by taking a 0 equal to 1 so we get one one solution that is y 1 so what is solution n equal to 0 to infinity these are coefficient minus 1 power n 
2 power n division 2n plus 1 2n minus 1 up to 3 this is a n multiply by x n plus r so this is one one solution okay so now now we take another value r equal to half and again fit in the in the recurrence relation just as we did before so just fit earlier we fit r equal to 1 so now fit r equal to half and final answer is so just simplify it so you can write an equal to minus 1 power n by n factorial a0 so second solution y2 is summation n0 to infinity so coefficient a n ok and um, x power so you, you can take a0 equal to 1 to get solution without constant so x power n plus r so x plus n plus half r is half here and also you can recognize this expression so n equal to 0 to infinity so I am writing separately minus 1 power n by n factorial x power n and x power half so first one is e power minus x so general solution is now you can put two constants so maybe you, you can write c1 y1 plus c2 y2 or a0 y1 or some so now combining these two solutions so you got general solution so in that way without any difficulty you can find find a solution so now i am going to state a general result and and proof is simple that and, and you can prove as in the same manner as, as we are solving the questions and by taking care the solution of Cauchy Euler equation so we, so we have we consider second order equation so At, at a regular singular point at a regular singular point x0 let r be the radius of convergence radius of convergence Okay, so singularity is regular, so 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 limit uh, x minus x zero p x and or you can say the p and q are analytic, so. and x minus x0 so x minus x0 times px and x minus x0 square times qx both are analytic ok so and we we assume the solution we assume solution so what is the formula of the solutions so this is Frobenius series solution a n x minus x 0 n plus r 
and let r1 r2 r2 roots of initial equation so how you got initial equation by fitting the series and then substituting the constant term equals to 0 that give you two roots so now we have three cases number one if r1 and r2 both are unequal and their difference as we solved in the problem so the difference r1 minus r2 is not is not a non non-negative integer then then the two linearly independent solutions are so one is y1 x equal to in, in the same manner and another one is so some bn x minus x0 and we we have solved an example immediately so you know the case one so you can write you have two different r and the difference is not an integer so you can write two solutions for two different r and in second case you may have r1 equal to r2 so you have only one r then y1 is same as above so you got one solution okay but you cannot get another okay so so y2 as above and y2 is is of the form is of the form y2 equal to y1 multiply by log x minus x0 plus x minus x0 r1 plus summation and running from 1 to infinity cn x minus x0 power n so either you can write second solution from first and fit this solution in the series to find cns or you can use reduction of order to find second solution so case third if r1 minus r2 difference is a positive integer is a positive integer then take r1 to be the larger root so if if roots are complex okay if roots are complex then then the real part then take r1 which which has larger real part so if roots are complex so which which one is bigger so which has real part bigger then then y1 is same as in first but so in all three cases you have same y1 but second solution is this c y1 log x minus x0 plus x minus x0 r x minus x0 power n some coefficient dn and here you can you may 
that c equal to 0 so if c is 0 so you just got similar solution to y1 and you can use reduction of order as well to find second solution and the radius of convergence of the solution is big is not bigger than the radius of convergence of x minus x0 p or x minus x0 square q so now i have earlier solved one example of case 1 now i am solving an example of case 2 so case 2 means that you have to two equal root okay <clears throat> so solve this problem so 4x square y double prime minus Eight x square y prime plus four x square plus one. So no no division here. Four x square plus one y equal to zero. So you can write its standard form, which is minus two divided by four x square. Four x square plus one upon 4x square y times equal to 0 okay so you can check x equal to 0 is a singular point and here px is minus 2 and qx is 4x square plus 1 upon 4x square and you can check x p x in limiting case and x square q x so both are finite when x goes to 0 so this point is this point is a regular singular point so you are writing solution about a regular point so we take Frobenius series solution in this form so we assume solution in this form so just fit all the values in given equation so equation was 4x square so I am putting x square inside so n plus r n plus r minus 1 a n x n plus r minus 2 so x square multiplied this will be x n plus r minus a times first derivative n plus r a n x power n plus r multiplied minus 1 so multiply by x square this will be plus 1 plus 4 times 4 x square so 4 times I am writing separate two terms uh, x power n plus r plus 2 4 x square and then I am writing 1 so 4 x square y plus y this is just y this is left hand side 0 so now first term so we have n plus r in first and last term and in second you have n plus r plus 1 so just make a shifting so keep first as it is second you need to lower down 1 so just replace n with n minus 1 ok so you got x n plus r in third term 
you need to lower two so replace n with n minus two so x n plus r and last term is as it is so first and last as it is so now make summation same so first sum is from zero second from one third from two so you can start all sums from two so you need to write two separate term for n equal to zero and n equal to one so this is for n equal to zero separate then also you need to write for n equal to one okay minus eight r a zero x power r plus one so this is for n equal to one and remaining sum now we'll start from two and two to infinity and you can club all things together four times n plus r n plus r minus one plus one a n minus eight times n plus r minus one a n minus one plus four times a n minus two and multiply by n plus r so minimum coefficient will give you initial equation so initial equation is 4r r minus 1 plus 1 equal to 0 that give you 2r both are equal r equal to half and half okay so from from second so So this is initial equation and these are rest of the coefficients. So now I am writing for r equal to half the recurrence relation is for r equal to half so you have recurrence relation I am getting a n equal to so that's just fit r equal to half so minus 2 n minus 1 a n minus 1 minus a n minus 2 So from you from here you got a2 equal to 1 by 2 factorial a0 a3 equal to 1 by 3 factorial a0 and you got a n equal to one by n factorial a naught. Also you need to, so you need to find A1, from, from the relation, so that, that relation is 4 times R, R plus 1, plus 1, A1, minus, equal to 0 so this will give you 3 by 2 3 plus 1 4 a equal to 4 a 1 equal to 4 a 0 so this will give you a 1 equal to a 0 
so you can say say a1 equal to a0 divided by 1 factorial okay so a2 so you need to simplify this okay so here n square so just start label from 2 a2 is 1 by 2 factorial a3 is 1 by 3 factorial and so on just simplify and general coefficient is 1 by n factorial so by taking a0 equal to 1 one solution is y1 equal to x power half okay so x power r so 1 plus x you can write so this is just exponential x and now we get second solution so you have only one r so second solution can be obtained from first by using reduction of order so how you apply that method so you assume that second solution y2 is y2 can be obtained from first by multiplying a function v of x and then by fitting in given equation you have v of x equal to 1 by y1 square and e power minus p dx so just fit value here so integral and dx okay integral of this one so 1 by y1 square is 1 by x e power 2x e power minus minus 2 dx then dx so ultimately e power 2x will cancel out so 1 by x so this is just log of x so what is y2 y2 is x power half e power x multiplied by log x so this is second solution and general solution is so c1 y1 plus c2 y2 also you can check that both are linearly independent by calculating the round scheme of two solution and in, in that case round scheme is just v dash y1 square which is e power minus 2x which is non-zero so both are both solutions are solutions are linearly independent so in that way you can obtain one solution from another solution by either applying reduction of order or directly substituting in given equation